EA Sports within the game. So photogenic, all I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. Part my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the New York Jets and the Washington Commanders. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon, and we are underway from FedEx Field. start on the ground with Gibson and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage second down here's Heineke 
They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run with Gibson. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to roam. And that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Looking to throw again on second down. Heineke back to Gibson and another catch for him. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. 13 yards there and a Washington first. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door first and goal. They'll run with Gibson. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back. And that's... And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And now Washington going to go for two here. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. Interesting. I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going for two to go up 8 nothing. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. On first and 10, White. Open man here is Conklin. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Out of the gun, they run with Carter. They'll 
They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. That's a strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. Ten yards there, good for Washington first down. One quarter down, eight nothing the score. And it's Gibson. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. That's Samuel caught left side. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Gibson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. They'll try and throw for it. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Barrios now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen. They need for it to happen now. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. The play fake, now White. This pass complete, he finds Jeremy Ruckert. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. 
Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Three yards remain for second down. Second down and a run by Robinson. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Robinson will try to pick it up. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Calling no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Here Here's Here second go. and ten. Pressure gets there on Heineke, and down he goes. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now after the sack, Heineke and the Washington offense going to face a tough third and long. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And they're indeed going. Here's Heineke. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. Yeah, this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down and an exhale there as they convert on fourth. And that's what you've got your tough little slot receiver for, isn't it? Right there, those fourth down conversions in the middle of the field. He knows that's where he has to make his living, and that's where he has to make plays to help his team. And no one is asking him to do anything more or less than do exactly what we saw there. Running right through him. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. A gain of three, second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Open man is Samuel, complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. Sly able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Yeah. 
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. A gutsy call there. Yeggs at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They're already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Ball play action. Here's White. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And now third down and six to go. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Robinson up the middle. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Now White. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jalen Davis. And the Commanders are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team. He's got a man complete. He's at the 50. 